Hello, in this video we're going to look at the monopsony equilibrium. Our proof will show that the wage is less than the marginal revenue product. Here's our monopsony. It sells its good in a competitive market at a price equal to P. The monopsony produces output where output is a function of labor. The quantity of output is a function of labor. The monopsony pays a wage W, where the wage W is a function of labor. So if the monopsony wants to hire more workers, the monopsony has to pay a higher wage. So we're going to maximize profit. We're going to ignore fixed costs here. So profit is total revenue minus total cost. We'll take the derivative of the profit function with respect to labor and we'll get back this result. So price times the derivative of the production function with respect to labor. And then we have to take the derivative of this wage function with respect to labor, and that'll be multiplied by labor. And then the derivative of L is just one, and that's just being multiplied back through by W. So we get this result here, setting it equal to zero because we're maximizing profit. Moving some things around. And we can interpret this result as the left-hand side being the price times the marginal product of labor. That is just a marginal revenue product. And that equals the right-hand side, which we're going to call ME, the marginal expenditure of labor. So ME, again, is the marginal expenditure of labor. And as, as I said, it's the right-hand side of this condition over here. And we can think of the marginal expenditure of labor as the monopsony's marginal cost of hiring one more worker. As we can see here, that marginal cost exceeds the wage. Unlike a firm operating in a competitive input market, hiring workers in a competitive input market where the marginal cost equals the wage, for a monopsonist here, the marginal cost will exceed the wage. So to hire one more worker, the monopsony has to increase pay to all current workers. And that's what this term is reflecting right here in the marginal expenditure function. Okay, This derivative of the wage function with respect to labor, that is going to be positive. That's just capturing the slope of the labor supply curve. So the monopsony faces an upward sloping market supply curve of labor. And so this derivative is, is positive. All right, uh, moving on. Let's get back to our proof. So just rewriting that uh, first order condition. As I said, the left-hand side we can think of as the marginal revenue product, the increase in revenue from hiring one more worker. And to maximize profit, we're going to set that equal to the marginal expenditure of labor. Just rearranging here, solving for W, the wage equals a marginal revenue product minus the following. And as I said, this derivative result is positive, so therefore the wage will be less than the marginal revenue product in the monopsony equilibrium. Okay, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.